<laughs> oh, the only thing I have against this video is I don't like the font he used on the outro. <laughs> Hello there people, my name is Video Editor, believe it or not, I am a video editor, in fact you're watching a video that I edited right now in fact, <sighs> mind blown. So it's long past time I continued my reaction to the GCF series, um, it's been really cool to see little Jungkookie Wookie's uh, talents develop, and when I say talent, I mean develop, I mean he started out impressive which is annoying and it's only gone up from there. Uh, last time was... Uh, uh, GCF uh, in Newark, which is like kind of an interesting behind the scenes, like deliberately kind of like 90s, uh, very sort of stylized video. This time we've gone from a 60 minute video to a one minute video, so perhaps it's going to be packed of editing. I don't know. Who knows? I like the variety. Variety is a spice of life. And you know what else is the spice of life? Subscribing to me on YouTube apparently, and also going to my Patreon if you want uh, and seeing my Rumpy TS and Bon Voyage reactions. Anyway, I love videos, I love video editing, I love talking about video editing. I'm a massive video nerd, so let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Well, well shit. This is like a music video already. This is very, very stylized. I like it. And the syncing is immaculate. I'm a big sync nerd. It doesn't mean I hang around in the kitchen gently fondling the insincorator. No, I love syncing music and video, the interplay of those two. All right, Jungkook, all right. Now this is a syncing showcase. I mean, right from the beginning, like this whole thing is Pretty much flawless, syncing wise. The speed ramps here. This is me, Jimin, normally fondling my head. Zoom! Ooh! I quickly fondled it and back again to slow. That's great. I like it so far, it's quite simplistic, but you can do a lot with simplistic things. You can really convey a lot of tone and style and emotion with simplicity uh, in video editing. I like it. That's, you know, that's one of the things I love about video editing. There's so many ways to cook a fish in it, or a vegan fish. But, um,. Like this black screen here. The simplest effect in the world of black screen. I mean, it's literally the absence of effects. It's the absence of video, but time it perfectly with the music and you get a nice little, like a, like a, like an intake of breath video wise right there. I don't know what song this is, but it's absolutely fuego too. That helps. Oh, wow. I love this. This is great. Now, I'm not sure if this is a camera effect. You know, you can choose a camera. There's a plugins that will do this for you, too, um, that will just enhance motion. Uh, but it's like, it's almost like a long exposure thing. Like, everything has crazy motion blur on it. Like, if you pause something in motion, you'll, I mean, look, you'll see the blur. It's definitely more blur than you normally would have. This is a little drop. I love this little drop here. It's just like watching drag. This is great. Okay, okay. Now, I like this a lot because it's like very much my style. And somebody trying to be like, I do this or I did this. And, oh, confession, guys. I'm Chung Cook. <laughs> I know it was always obvious, the boyish smile, the ethereal good looks, but no, look. I have, I have, you know, music videos with this kind of, like, love this, the screen feeling, that's really cool. Sinking is flawless here. Sinking on the, uh, on the, on the crotch slap, the, uh, the drag queen dro crotch dropped to the ground earlier. Not quite as flawless, if I'm being... I mean, it, it's almost flawless. Maybe, maybe like a millisecond too late. I'm such a nerd about this stuff, but the syncing on this flawless syncing, like you could, you could put that down to the millisecond. You could play that at like you know times point zero zero one speed, and it's perfect. It's got good music taste. I'll say that. Oh, the squat. <gasps> Oh, it's so cool seeing the progression, 
the such clear progression in every single video. You couldn't say you've seen the progression in every single video I've ever made. Definitely not in my reactions, that's for sure. Straight up progression, really. But look at this. That's like sinking down to the millisecond here. Just like perfect, perfect. This entire video is a showpiece, showmanship, craftsmanship in syncing. It's really, really good. And I, I love so such a nerd about syncing and all that kind of stuff. And everyone like everyone has different ideas about how to sync. There's no technically one correct answer because you know you can sync on the off beats, you can sync on the beats. There's like you know there's different ways to kind of make video breathe and move and flow of a song. But this is the this is the way I would do it. So I appreciate you know I like that we have the same kind of mind about syncing. So again, we got different uh, techniques here. Um, you know, like I said, we got screen flashes. We got a zoom in at one point, just a quick zoom in. There, there's like a slight zoom in there. Just a slight zoom in. It's so subtle that you could blink and miss it. I mean, it really is a blink. It's like a video blink and you'll miss it. And then we also have speed ramps. Now speed ramps is where, you know, you can control the speed. So it, so, you know, it speeds up and then slows down really quickly. And, it down really quick. and then in certain softwares like, um, easier in like stuff like Adobe After Effects, you can even like add easing. So you can make those speed ramps rather than being like, so the graph of the speed ramp, rather than looking like a triangle, like you can make it a nice, like smooth, like as in the speed gradually speeds up and then gradually slows down and gradually speeds up. But there's different applications and uses for any of them. Like there's, you know, there's plenty of good uses for a, a, a fast speed ramp, but he's used it perfectly here. This bit right here, so cool. It's like the Matrix effect, you know, it goes back to full time for the, the elbow swag and then <sighs> bullet dodging. And then here, I mean, I'm really breaking this down to the milliseconds, but I'm, I'm excited about it, so forgive me. But here, very cool. Like on each, on each drum hit, on each drum hit, dum -dum, kick drum. He like, he just cuts like, just like half a second off the footage, just so each drum hit just like jerks back to the future. Brilliant. Ooh. I love how he just slowly un un unveils these extra effects as the video goes on. So now we've got some like, uh, sort of edge corruption, like, like this. Now, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, you know, say anything specifically, in case I'm wrong. There's different ways to do this. That's the beauty about video. You could do this by hand even, but there's plugins that a lot of people use. Some of the best plugins in the world is like uh, Sapphire Effects. Uh, and there's there's Sapphire Effects plugins that will do exactly this. I and mean, it's such a cool effect, like having the edge like push out. Like it's like a, kind of like an 80s, like neon vibe look where the edge of objects pushes out and you have like a pink, blue and yellow highlight of it. That's an effect I've definitely used myself. So I probably borrows effects. There's lots of different ways you can do it, of course but just so cool here. Just subtly using it as well. I love this cut here. I love this cut here from the one angle to the other. I mean, you can tell if you're nitpicking almost certainly based on where he's in position, he looks like he's pretty close to the edge of that wall here. And in here, he looks like he's not very close at all, but it just, it's such a flawless cut. Like, you, you know, like that's the beauty of the human eye and movement and stuff. You can trick the eye so easily and you can do such cool stuff with that. So, you know, in this, this clip, he's throwing his hands down. He cuts to another clip of him throwing his hands down, different location, but it just looks flawless. Boom, and suddenly he is there. And as far as the brain is concerned, that transition happened completely seamlessly and is exactly the same like thing. <laughs> we will be a real nerd and see if we can see Jungkook in the mirror here as, as he's filming. That must be him with the camera there. We're wearing a white hat sticking out. You should have worn a mirror camouflage, a, a mirror costume. This is just J-Hope killing it. Ooh, now that was cool. That's an effect. I don't think I've ever done that before. That is a really cool effect. I mean, I, I don't use black and white too much. I've definitely, like, I definitely have a video, like, I definitely have videos where I've gone close to black and white, like, really gritty, like, no saturation, pretty much, like, desaturated, film grain to the max. But this is such a cool effect here. So simple and so cool. We've gone just a flash of color there in that a few, for a second. See there? Just, like, right there. He removed the black and white. See if I can pause it on a frame. Could be here for 10 minutes. We'll see. Oh, nearly, nearly got it. <laughs> oh 
I'll be right back, folks. There it is. See you now. Whoa. We have the original video and it's cool that we have this because look at how different this looks. Obviously black and white is a simple effect. I don't wanna like try and mansplain or video edit to splain, you know, black and white versus color. But look how different this footage looks in its original-ish, who knows, color. Look at it. Like look at, imagine if this video had had this coloring the whole time. Like that really is why color is so important in video, you know, why you, you know, you can have, people that dedicate their whole life just to color corrections, you know, colorists or whatever, people who spend their whole life on lighting because all that stuff is so important. If this video had, had all the same amazing effects but had been in color the whole time, it just wouldn't have had the same punch. And a big part of that comes down to music, understanding music and understanding the vibe the music calls for. And obviously John Cook, as a musician, as a great musician, understands that better than anyone. He understands it better than me, sadly, as much as it stings to admit it. <laughs> but you know, he listened to this song and thought, this song is gritty, it's moving, it's got, you know, like angry bass. It needs black and white. And he was so right about that because look how different it just looks wrong now. But bringing back the color just for, a, you know, just for a split flash is perfect. It's such a cool effect. Love it. That's, that's Jungkook himself, I think, if the hat's the same. With bin bags on his hand. Yeah. Oh. I love it, yes! Ooh. Oh my goodness, this is like popping off now. So now we have the uh, ancient bin bag dance of Clan Jungkook. No, I don't know what that is in his hand, but it's so cool. Drop it like it's hot. Did they just like backflip out of the screen? And now the flashing is going crazy. The sinking is still immaculate. We've got some like red flash coming on. That is really cool. This little window in window. Now these are effects I've often strayed away from because I or I often feel insecure or weird about like having, you know, like almost breaking that fourth wall. Like when you see a black bar, when, when, the, when, the, when the screen gets smaller than the actual, or when the video gets smaller than the screen itself, it's almost like breaking that fourth wall, like a reminder, this is a video. But the way he does it is so cool that it just works. So now you have two different frames of video playing back and definitely at different speeds. It's hard to be sure for certain, but you know, the way that this like creates, creates the kind of like mind melding, you know, hypno hypnotic, you know, quality of it is having two different, a uh, window within a window, one's flashy, one's playing back at different speeds. It's very cool and psychedelic. Oh. <laughs> I feel like when I can see their choreography through this video at this lens, it makes me appreciate it a lot more. I'm just like, oh, that is great. Cause you know, normally I'd be so, I'm so personal, I'd be so wrapped up in like the words, like the, the you know, the lyrics and stuff, the song. I usually like, and I'm not good at dancing or expert, you don't have any dancing expertise as much as I would like to believe otherwise. So it's hard for me to really be like, oh wow, you know, but like in this, in this context, definitely like this is, this choreography is so cool, especially this bit here, and the, the angle of it is perfect. That just looks so cool in black and white in slow motion. With some nice little like flashes to red as well. But he's done it, the, the, the red tint he's done, the flashing red tint is really nice. So I've paused it on one of the frames, it is red. And I think he's done something that I don't really do, like I always end up putting red on all of it, but he's mostly put red on the, on the, the lows, as it were, on the blacks. So this is it without it, so you can see where the black is. And then back to the red again. You see the red mostly shows up on the blacks, which is very cool. Like having the red just be on one part of the image like gives a very, very deliberate thing. Like when you add a tint to something, you know, in most software you can tint just the, the white, the mids, you know, the grays or whatever, or the, or the, you know, the lows, the blacks. He's, you know, the whites are basically untinted here, which is, but imagine if this was reversed. I mean, it would still look cool, it would just be a different vibe, you know, imagine if the blacks were basically untouched, but the whites were tinted red. That would look cool too, that's what I love about video editing, but that was his vision. He chose to have the blacks tinted and it gives it a very clean and kind of like moody look. I really like it. <laughs> Reds. <laughs> oh, the only thing I have against this video is I don't like the font he used on the outro. It's too like it's too middle of the road for that edit deserved a much like cleaner font, in my opinion. But wow, what an edit.
That's brilliant. I mean, it's one minute, 30 seconds long, and I spent almost 20 minutes talking about it. So that's how you know it's quality when you have that much to talk about it. That's the magic of video editing. I mean, video is typically 24 frames a second, 30 frames a second. So between like 24 and 30 images per second. And the video editors who are getting really fancy with it, who are really, you know, getting into the flow of a song and just, you know, making every single second of the song speak to the video. They can edit it down to every frame, you know what I mean? Like, I've definitely had edits like that. So, I mean, think how much work goes into that. That's, you know, that's the beauty of video. When you put two hours of work into one minute, that video can be, you know, breathtaking, spectacular. And I say two hours of work, I mean, this probably took more than two hours. Like, I understand how editing works, especially like editing. A lot of editing really is just playing around and finding something you like. You know, if you applied all those effects directly to a video, it might take you an hour and a half, two hours. But when it, when you're actually experimenting, it could take, you know, you could spend like two days working on something like this. It really depends. But the point is, you know, I really have so much respect for the craftsmanship of this. Like this is, this is really great. This isn't just like, this is so far beyond hobbyist. Like when he started, it was hobbyist stuff and it was still very cool and impressive. And you could see his artistic side and his understanding of music and all that stuff. But now it's just annoying. Like, I don't know how many uh, years he's been ed editing for at this point, but this is really, really, really good stuff, which is annoying. It's, <laughs> I'll say this every GCF, because I feel like he's probably been doing it for like two or three years. And it's just like, oh man, but that is fantastic, fantastic video so yeah big white weird bucket hats off to jungkook <laughs> can only imagine how good the next one is if this is any indicator any indicator of uh, the quality increase hope you guys enjoyed that i really like breaking down these videos um and i really like doing video editor reacts videos you know it's something that i thought about doing just so long ago um and i don't make, make that many videos I want to do all the GCF series first in my own time. And then after that, I definitely want to branch out and do more video editor reacts. And what it really comes down to is once my channel is more stable, you know, I'm trying to grow it now. And it's, it's very difficult when you're trying to grow a YouTube channel to keep branching out, you know, especially when you have ADHD. Like my whole life has been branching out and starting new projects and leaving things, you know, half finished. So I really want to make sure, you know, the comedian reacts thing is, you know, completely stable and stuff before I branch out too much more. But I definitely, definitely, definitely want to keep doing video editor reacts videos, even if it's just like once a month, once a year. I think, you know, this is very much passion for me and very interesting and fun for me to talk about. And I also want to make, I also want to get back to creative editing. I want to make, uh, you know, music video edits, um, like music video visual or music visuals. Um, again, once my channel is more stable and I have slightly more time, feel slightly less ah, rushed. I definitely, definitely, definitely want to make visual edits to BTS and whatever other artists I'm listening to. I get a lot of creative ideas and I love making trippy visuals for music. So I'm excited to do that sometime in the future for you guys. But for now, I really, really hope you enjoyed that. I love that. I love breaking that down for you guys. Mad respect to Jungkook for the artistry and the vision in this one. If you like this, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to see me and my wacky self do some Run BTS and Bon Voyage reactions and suggest a video for me to react to every week in the poll, then go and check out my Patreon in the description. It's very reasonable. I'm a reasonable guy. But yeah, just have a lovely, lovely day. I'll see you soon. Okay, goodbye. And remember, if you like my reaction to this new GCF, click the subscribe button already, like WTF.